Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Lunar Crypto. Today, let's talk about this cryptocurrency called Decentraland. We'll be learning more about it in this video. This was written by Jordan Brody for Rookie on November 4th, 2021 at proactiveinvestors.co.uk. Decentraland, or MANA, is a virtual reality platform powered by the Ethereum blockchain. Now, this one allows users to create, experience, and monetize content and applications. In this virtual world, otherwise referred to as a metaverse, users can buy plots of land that they can navigate, build upon, and monetize. MANA is an Ethereum-based token that's burned to acquire entities in its platform's metaverse. They can also be used to buy avatars and wearables and names and more. Now, you might be wondering who created Decentraland. It was co-founded by Ariel Milik and Esteban Ordano, both have since stepped down from major roles but still act as advisors. Malik is an entrepreneur who has founded several startups and was an analyst at a venture fund. Ordano has a history in the cryptocurrency world working as a software engineer, an advisor, and he operated his own smart contract development firm and also established a blockchain technology infrastructure company. Decentraland was launched in 2017 following a $24 million initial coin offering or ICO, before opening to public users in 2020. Decentraland is built for content creators, businesses, and individuals that are seeking a new artistic medium, business opportunities, or a source of entertainment. Now, the Decentraland game world is divided into 90,601 individual parcels of land, each represented by an NFT. Each land is 16 square meters, which is virtually, and can be found at a specific coordinate in the metaverse. Landholders can develop their plot into anything, although much of the metaverse is divided into distinct districts with different sizes and themes. These districts were generated through individual crowd sales for MANA tokens. MANA holders propose and vote on policy updates, the specifics of land auctions, and the types of content allowed in metaverse. Many Decentraland users monetize their land through leasing and advertising, while others create and sell items for MANA tokens. There are 1.8 billion mana coins in circulation out of the current total supply of 2.2 billion. There are burn mechanisms to reduce the circulating supply of mana, including a 2.5% mana burn on Decentraland marketplace transactions. 40% of the mana supply was sold during the 2017 ICO, while the remaining 60% was split equally between the company, community, development team, and early contributors. On November 4th, the token's market cap was $4.6 billion, and it was ranked as number 42 on CoinMarketCap.com. MANA is based on the Ethereum blockchain, which is secured by a large decentralized network of miners, which work together with thousands of nodes to ensure the blockchain, and hence, the MANA tokens is protected against attacks. Ethereum is the most popular network for crypto tokens that don't have their own blockchain, so probably now you're interested to buy the token. Major crypto exchanges facilitate trading in Decentraland tokens, including Coinbase, Binance, Mandela, Exchange, OKX, Cointiger, and FTX. MANA can be traded against Bitcoin, Tether, and ETH, as well as being purchased with many fiat currencies, including USD. And that's our video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.